Hi everybody, welcome to Sharon from Vivid Days. I hope you're about to enjoy the video you're due to watch. But what I wanted to do was thank you for spending your time with me and thank you for all your support. Um, I hope that you'll enjoy the medium. I hope that you'll enjoy the process and the reviews. But remember, like, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome because that's how you give back to me, the artist, for putting my art out there with you all. And I love to engage in that conversation with you, but I know we're all very busy. So if you don't have time for that, that's OK. But I'm digressing because I'm Sharon. I will see you on the next video and have the most amazing day. And remember to be creative. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I am going to be giving these beautiful mica pigments. And these are from Decor Room. And I'm going to show you the different colours. So I'm not working on all these together, but I will be test driving them. But just look how beautifully stunning they are. So rose, grey, brown, black, pink, fuchsia, just to die for. Really love the forest green, orange, gotta love a good orange. Blueberry, lavender, chestnut, beautiful colour. Violet, blue gold which looks like that is going to be heavenly teal wine bronze copper uh charter charteros <laughs> i think it's like a, a a bottle of alcohol lemon so that's a stunning one kiwi very excited about that and the cherry and pearl so some amazing colors so i'm going to be working on no more than four at a time Possibly, but I'm Sharon. But I just wanted to show you this cute little measuring sort of um, spoon or shovel that comes for your uh, mica pigments or the measurements. It's just beautiful. So I will put a link in my descriptions for the ones that I'm going to be working on for each video. But what I would love you to be aware of also is they very kindly given you a code that if you're interested and want to try some of these and you type in the code that's in my description, you'll get a discount on that. And I'm looking forward to working on these and seeing what amazing creations we can come up with. So without further ado, let's get on with this. Hi, so I am back and I have selected a smorgasbord of colors again. So you will see I have I'm recycling a board so the little things you can see here will disappear when the resin cover is it. That was uh, from when I attached some, uh, I want to say sequined ribbon. Uh, quite an interesting effect, I'll try that again. Anyhow, so the colours I'm going to go with is blueberry, lavender, violet, fuchsia, cherry, orange and lemon. And I am hoping that I will create a beautiful Australian sunset. So the reason I have chosen the background of the cerulean blue and the ultramarine is more just I envisaged in my mind's eye keeping clear over the top of it and adding these colours maybe in layers uh, because I want to really capture the striking colours that you can get in a sunset but also leave a little bit of space so maybe some of this will pop through and add to that feel or illusion so the acrylics i have used is dollar and round it cerulean blue and the pebo uh, ultramarine i use those in a lot of my ocean scenes so this is all wet and drying it's taped underneath and i have also made sure that my board is level which is important and super cute to be using this and you're going to get reference to this all along so i now need to leave these to set and rest and we'll come back shortly and we'll start applying this in layers and hopefully we work some magic and create a beautiful aussie sunset so come on this journey with me and let's see how we go and let's see how these beautiful pigments from a decor room um work with resin so super excited Hello everybody, thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I hope that you managed to watch as much of this video as possible because that's how you thank me, the artist. And I would just like to say thank you for all your support. 
and I'm so looking forward to test driving these beautiful pigments with you from Decor Rom uh, or Decor Room as I keep calling them, but Decor Rom. Um, but what I would like to do is apologize for this video being set up the wrong way. I tried holding my camera in a different angle directly above feeling that you would get a better view of my art but i didn't realize it had gone into portrait from landscape but you still get to see the art and i think you still enjoy it and hopefully it's not going to detract too much away from that for you what i will do is try and talk through some of my processes along the way but also try and balance some relaxation music i have spoke a lot at the beginning of the video and i will speak at the end of the video but just wanted to acknowledge and thank you for putting up with this video so there I'm just mixing up the blueberry what I found with these pigments is the shovel that's there absolutely love the shovel but when I'm first applying it you will notice that I apply a, a little bit and then come back and add more and that's only because it's a new pigment never worked with it before this is the first time I am unsealing it and playing with it so for me you need to each mica powder does vary depending on the brand or the color that you want in here so this is me really just test riding it and getting used to it and the colors once they're in there are beautiful they blend well within the resin uh, i did choose to add more because i like a fairly solid color and not so transparent so i added more and again it's that cute little shovel normally i eyeball it so you'll see as i go through the three layers of my confidence builds on what they are um, and all I would say is if you've not given these a go yet, give them a go. Um, they are a stunning range of colours. They do blend beautifully. They mix well. Uh, I've only used, uh, I think it was six in this piece, but I will be going back and practising with plenty more. Um, uh, the lavender. I think lavender and the purples are becoming my new favourite colour at the moment. They just look yummy, like a chocolate bar. I don't know why. <laughs> But when I think of those, I just see Christmas and chocolate and it's just becoming such a beautiful colour that I'm enjoying working with. And I've noticed that a lot of my art does seem to favour the pinks and purples. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. So for me, the importance of the first coat is I've um, given you those acrylic underneath. And that's like I mentioned before, to capture some of that blue coming out. But that's not the main part of this. So I wanted to work with four colours initially. So why, Sharon, you're asking me? Well, some of the colours, when blended together, as you know, will mix different colours. So I wanted to try and control that a little bit. And I also wanted to try and layer because I wanted to see if that would give me that um, illusion of distance to foreground, but also keep some of those colours together um, in a vivid way but also have some that blended together and i knew that on my next round i was going to be introducing the orange and yellow and i didn't want green in my sky <laughs> um and i applied a liberal amount of clear resin in this and you can start to see as i'm applying these i'm just really trying to see how it absorbs into the resin and i'm trying to work out where will my skyline be if any and also just add those few different tones through in case they pop through or where they're going to be. And so I'm just having fun. I'm applying it. There's no real rhyme or reason. It's just intuition and going for it. Uh, as you say, when you, when you work with any kind of new pigment or any kind of new medium, you're giving it a test drive. So you're probably not going to give it your best to start with. But for me, it's just, hey, let's get in there and let's add it. And I was very happy as soon as you could start applying it, you could see that sparkle coming through and the tones. Where I lost some of the, the boldness in the colour was more user error on my part. Because as you know, when you add your pigments to resin, depending on how much resin is, how transparent it would be or how uh, bold that colour will be. But when you're applying it to where there's quite a bit of clear resin on there as well, it's going to dilute it and bleed in. And that's going to be a really nice effect because it's going to tone it down, blend it in, probably make it more organic. But at the same time, you have to be mindful that resin will continue to move. It will continue to self-level and it will actually devalue some of that colour and that tran, um, translucentness of it. So uh, it's just a balance. And this was a fairly quick layer, uh, really, because it was full of clear. Just adding my tones through and seeing what it happens. Remembering to blow torch along the way and to remove those bubbles. 
and heat guns when you're wanting to soften that image. But I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. I'm gonna leave you to enjoy this next process of some music and then I'll pop back in a little while. So sit back, relax and enjoy.
Hey, welcome back. I hope you're feeling very relaxed and welcome back to layer two. So again, I want to apologize for two things on the layer two. One is holding my camera the wrong way again. So you get a portrait look instead of a landscape. But the second apology is that I accidentally pressed it on slow mode. So I created a four hour frame by frame video that was trying to work 15 times harder than it needed to be and I just couldn't get it to work so I had to screen uh, grab my video on my phone so you're going to see a very hideous um, screenshot of my phone but I thought should I put it in or not and I felt that even though I couldn't find a more cosmetic way of showing you this and blending it in um, it was better than leaving it out because that way you can see how I am building up my layers So uh, thank you for your patience with that. So as you can see, I've applied my clear Resin to this and make sure that there's no heat bubbles You can see a tiny little yellow line that's forming across the middle So I came in just with some acrylic paint with a brush and just map that in I apologize that I didn't record that that was just really to give me a focal point for where I see the Sun setting and so when I am applying my resin uh, and pigments, that's going to help me define where they're going to go. But again, I wanted it to be fairly organic. I wanted there to be a real no definition between the sky and the sea, but let your mind do that just with where I'm putting the pigments. So um, I'll show you the colours that I'm using, but I am moving into the oranges, the yellows, the cherry, which is beautiful. Uh, and I believe it's the future as well. So um, again, I'm just adding and seeing if I've got the color that I want and just adding more and, and until I get the desired results. So I encourage you to do that. And also I would encourage you to just have some fun. Um, with me, I really enjoyed this project. The end result I think was worth it. Could I improve it? Yes. Would I do things differently? Well, yes, definitely get my camera set up for you, all right. <laughs> uh, but these pigments work really beautifully together and I was very, very happy with the way that um, this started to create that depth. And I started to lose some of the blue in the background, but I retained some of that vibrancy. And at the end, when I heat gun this, it just created what I think is a rainbow effect in the sky. But I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. Please forgive me for this section of the video and I hope it doesn't take anything from your watching. But yeah, enjoy this process, relax and listen to some music and I'll see you on the next little bit. Thank you. 
Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have the day off work, so I'm coming in to do a third coat of embellishment on this one. Uh, well, not embellishment, I'm actually trying to start to bring some very vivid colours through now. And on this one, just experimenting like I did with the other one with just some of those bold, striking colours. So again, I'm still using the um, Decoron, and I will be coming back and touching base with the Lemon. The orange, the cherry, the fuchsia, the lavender, and the blueberry. So the fuchsia, uh, should I say the lavender and the blueberry are going to be more for this one here. I might add a few tones back through here, but I really want this to be about the bold, vibrant pop. So as you can see here, I've added a bit more yellow with the mid yellow acrylic paint and that's to help give the illusion that this is going to be where it's all going to center from now i will come back over this with the resin yellow and that'll probably bleed out into the sky and the orange a little bit which is fine it doesn't have to be perfect it's just a suggestion of what this should be and what i'm trying to do now is think of depth and bold so We've got some pretty little um, rainbow colours here, feathering out lightly, and they're going to be more in the distance. And the colours that I'm hoping to bring through now are going to be more like they're trailing down and a little bolder and a little bit more striking. I'm unsure if I've got the balance right, whether I should have brought my uh, skyline a little bit further down. And if I want to do that, that's okay. I can just bring it down. So I'm just going to go with the feeling and just try and have some fun and see if I can finish this piece today where I am happy with it. So this time I have to be conscious of the dust particles. Last time I wasn't too worried with that and there is some nice beautiful tones coming through in that beautiful, I think, rainbow skyline. But let's see if I can add value to it rather than remove from it. And this one I just want you to see how beautiful these colours are. They mix with the resin and on um, the second coat of this I practiced with this one at the side now this one i didn't take the time to make sure it was level so the image changed dramatically i had to go back in and salvage it and overall though i still really love the pop of the different colors but i'm going to go back to what the original one were where it gradiated down and then you've got that bold blue and maybe purple here just coming through and just keep it simple but keep it striking and let the colors do all the work but so far i'm really enjoying playing with these uh, Decoron colours. They mix beautifully as a mica pow uh, powder. They retain their colours. There is that little bit of shimmer going through them and they blend together beautifully. So let's continue this project and let's have a happy ending. We, we can feel the sun is setting. All right, let's get on with this. So for the third and final time, I am applying my clear resin. Um, some people that are not that are fairly new to resin would under, would want to know why are you applying clear resin well you apply clear resins for a few things the first thing is to protect certain areas uh, so that you uh, keep the majority of it a second part is to help the resin flow more but also the third and final which is probably the best one is it creates some special effects when you put certain pigments over there or colors would what would i do next time i think i mentioned it earlier which is i'd probably i uh, oh gosh put my teeth in sharon i would probably apply a thinner coat of clear resin so forget the resin calculator work out what you think you need and probably half it <laughs> very very thin so that when you do apply the colors i'm not diluting the colors so much you'll notice there's a tiny little bit of runoff at the end of this but don't stress i do capture every little bit of resin that comes off and use that for good and if you're new to resin sometimes if you put grease proof paper underneath and let it cure that will come back and you can peel it off and then you can use that for embellishments so i'm loving that i'm bringing back most of the colors that i work with in all these pieces they just look so so happy and yummy and um, a pleasure to work with I'm looking forward to experimenting with some other tones in here uh, the purple and uh, the blue so the lavender and the blueberry uh, on the second layer I mixed a couple of those together because I wanted a deeper blue and in this one I'm going to keep them separate because when I add them to the small piece I want to try and gradiate the purple and the pink I'll probably not add that much blue to this piece because I really don't want to mix any greens together but the blue would probably be used more for the foreground 
uh, of the ocean uh, to try and lighten it up as it comes near here to just help with that effect of water sparkling and other than that it's just a repeat of the process before these colors blended so beautifully together i would have loved to have kept a little bit more of the rainbow feathery sky behind and you may say well could i have done this in one layer uh, potentially uh, but i don't think i would have captured the depth um, and i think when you see it up close that's the only way you can see the the different layers and the colors that are coming through and how you protect them and it definitely stopped colors merging together that i didn't want to merge together and i think if i'd have kept my clear resin thinner i probably would have been able to control that a little bit better but anyway i'm sharon i'm digressing just take some time to appreciate these yummy colours that are in front of you. They're so vibrant and happy. And I think they're ideal colours that have been picked for an Australian sunset, which is what I'm channeling at the moment What now that my son has re returned back to Australia. And I did have the pleasure for 16 years of watching some of those amazing colours you get in the sky. They look so surreal and you really can't believe that that is what uh, Mother Nature does on some beautiful sunsets. So yeah enjoy have some fun i'll see you on the next video and thank you so so much for choosing to spend some time with me and i hope my really bad video editing or stroke taking the videos hasn't put you off coming and exploring some of my other art and i'm not too sure if you can see but there's a reflection of some eyes in my art that's from faye she is my peacock goddess she's an oil painting i did and she sits on the wall at the side of me and her eyes feature in quite a few of my videos from this angle so just thought I'd mention that in case some people are getting creeped out about these eyes staring at them <laughs> anyway I'm Sharon I'm digressing I'll see you on the next video and have an amazing week
Good morning and welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I wanted to show you these finished pieces with my test run of these amazing decor room or decor room as I call them, mica pigments which I used with my resin. So I'll talk you through the parts that I absolutely love about this and I'll also try my hardest to capture some of these bold colours. So if I turn to the side here, I think you get to see a little bit more of the sunset colours. Uh, I've got high reflection everywhere. So what I love is the blending of the ocean. I do enjoy the fact that I gave it three different layers. I would have loved to have kept some of the smaller clouds here and maybe a little bit more blue, but it's as it needed to be for this piece. I probably would try this piece again without adding so much clear in between because what I found with these striking mica pigments is obviously the more resin you put them into clear, the more diluted that colour is going to be. But I do quite like this wispiness and in certain colours, or should I say in certain angles, you get to see a beautiful rainbow effect. But to me that definitely does capture some of the amazing sunsets that you do get in Australia. This piece here, this was the one where I just dumped it all on at the end and I did love the gradients of it but it wasn't level so it came off the board. So I had to come in and rescue it. And I still really love the warmth and vibrancy of this and whilst there's no particular image on there it reminds me of those beautiful warmth colours uh, and it's the same colours that's been used in here but it was applied directly. Over here again uh, it's really unique and interesting, love the colours, um, sorry for the high shine, love some of the depth, I'm sorry that I'm struggling to capture that because of the high shine in here with glass everywhere uh, but I do love it and again uh, the colours and the warmth in there are beautiful. I'd like to try this again without the clear underneath. You see how it's created that lacing and some unique effects and I enjoy that but that's what happens when you put the clear res in and again it could dilute some of that so I had to come in and play around with that to try and capture some kind of an image. Anyway let's see if we can take you down here a little bit more so you get to see some of these beautiful, well I believe beautiful pigments and tones and and blending and there's some lace in there and that's come from when I had all that clear resin and put my heat gun on there and I didn't want a dramatic um, obvious difference between the sea and the sky and I think that that's captured quite nicely and oh sorry because I am um, uh, I've got multiple layers uh, some of it looks like it's floating and glistening but overall, I would say definitely give these beautiful pigments a go. I'd love to hear about you when you've worked with these warm colours or when you created a sunset and any tips or tricks. But uh, click on the link. Remember, there's a 5% off coupon for people that want to purchase these from Amazon. There are multiple different colours and I'm looking forward to working on my next project with these. And don't forget, of course, the cute little shovel that comes with them. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And I just want to say thank you for all your support. Thank you for hanging out with me. And if there is anybody else out there who would like me to work on some of their products and give them a test drive on one of my videos, I would love the opportunity to do that because that's what helps support my channel and what helps me 
be able to continue to share my art with you. So have the most amazing day and remember to take some time to create some art and look at a beautiful sunset. Bye, see you on the next one.